Hello? Hello. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of my favorite skincare and body care products from Trader Joe's. If you guys have been watching my channel for any extended period of time and you've tuned into my vlogs or my hauls, you may have seen some of these products. I go to Trader Joe's at least once a week, although I am in Canada across the border specifically to go to Trader Joe's for my groceries because the selection is just unreal, the prices are great, and without fail, every single time I go to Trader Joe's, I end up lingering in the skincare aisle. The skincare aisle is located, I think, in different parts of Trader Joe's depending on your location. The one that I go to is in the same aisle as the beverages and the household items. I'm not sure why that matters. It doesn't. I haven't tried every single one of their skincare products, but I'd say I've tried about 90% of them. And today, I'm gonna be going over the ones that I would recommend to you. Hi, Irina from the future here. Trader Joe's also claims to not test their products on animals. Just thought I'd throw that in as well because I think I missed it. Okay, bye. I keep getting distracted by the rainfall outside. There's a storm going on and it's so loud. I'm in a group chat with some of my friends and their power's gone out. So I'm really hoping my power won't go out because it's nighttime and Louie and I do not do well in the dark. I've been binge watching The Haunting of Hill House and um, it's got me all sorts of fucked up. So the last thing I want right now is to feel my way through the dark while I'm home alone. So I'm gonna try to film this video before that happens. Let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start out with skincare and then I'll work my way into body care. I'll put the prices of everything up on the screen somewhere because I don't remember them off the top of my head. I'm gonna start out with a facial cleansing oil. I've mentioned this in a previous video I think it was a Sephora haul or a makeup haul of some sort. I alternate between this one and my Tatcha Camellia cleansing oil. This is their facial cleansing oil with argan and coconut oils. This cleansing oil is formulated with a unique blend of natural botanicals including argan and coconut oils. These natural oils work together to gently remove dirt and makeup without stripping your skin's essential moisture or leaving a greasy residue. Your skin will feel nourished, refreshed and clean with every wash. So as the name states, this is a facial cleansing oil. This helps to break down your makeup before you go in with your cleanser. So what I do is I'll apply this with my dry hands to my dry skin with my makeup still on and I'll massage it all over. It really helps to break down the makeup. Then I go in and I rinse it with water. It kind of turns into like a milky consistency and then I go in with my cleanser. Sometimes I'll go in with my exfoliator and then my toner and my moisturizer. The last time I talked about this, I had said that it kind of makes my eyes burn and by kind of, I mean a lot. If I rub it over my eye area to get my mascara off and it gets into my eye, it burns the shit out of my eyes. One of you actually commented on my video that you looked at the ingredients and said that it may be the fragrance that's causing my eyes to feel irritated when this product gets anywhere near them. So what I've been doing is I've been continuing to use it, but I've stayed away from my eyes. I will use a face wipe to remove my eye makeup, and then I'll use this to break up the rest of my foundation and my bronzer, and I don't use it anywhere near my eyes. So if you've got sensitive eyes or your contact lens wearer, I don't think I would recommend using this. If you do use it, stay away from your eyes. Other than that, it does a really great job at breaking down my makeup and it leaves my skin feeling very hydrated but not greasy. I find that facial oils are kind of hit or miss with me. This one is a hit and it smells really nice, even though the smell apparently burns the shit out of my eyes. Moving on to probably one of my favorite products in this bunch. This is the Blueberry and Acai facial scrub. I unfortunately threw out the box for this long ago, so I'm gonna pull up the product description on my phone. No need to go to the spa when you can pamper your skin at home with Trader Joe's Blueberry and Acai Facial Scrub. Blueberry and Acai Berry nutrients combine with alpha hydroxy acids to remove dry, dull skin cells and refresh the appearance of your complexion. This exfoliating scrub will leave your skin feeling polished, smooth, and vibrant. Plus, it smells delicious, great for all skin types, and can be used two to three times a week for best results. Now, when I first picked this up, 
I thought that I was gonna buy a really gritty facial scrub. The more abrasive, the better, is what I've been telling myself my whole life. But, you know, in my old age, I'm realizing that that's not really the answer, and all these abrasive scrubs that I've used my whole life are actually doing more harm than good and uh, kind of tearing up my skin. Like, do you guys remember St. Ives apricot scrub? I used to scrub the absolute shit out of my skin as a teenager with that, and it always made me flare up, and I always wondered why. Well, duh, you're like ripping your skin apart with whatever the hell was in there. I don't even know how to describe this texture. It's kind of like yogurt meets oatmeal and it kind of smells like a blueberry gogurt although this is not gritty which at first may disappoint some people because you're expecting a scrub when you buy this because it says it's a scrub i kind of feel like they should change the verbiage on the front it is very exfoliating more so than a gritty scrub and it exfoliates by using alpha hydroxy acids when you apply this to the skin you do feel a little bit of grittiness and that's from the oatmeal that's in here and the blueberry seeds and it looks Looks like there's blueberry skin or something in here but the main components of this that are exfoliating your skin are the AHAs and they feel really cool. You do feel a little bit of a tingle. What I like to do is apply this to my clean face, massage it into my skin, and I leave it on for a couple minutes. You don't have to, you can rinse it off right away, but I kind of like to feel that tingle. And as I'm rinsing it off, I'm continually massaging it into my skin. It leaves my skin feeling nice and moisturized because it does have shea butter in here, meadow foam seed oil, I'm gonna pretend to know what that is, and a bunch of other plant extracts that help to soothe the skin. It comes in a beautiful frosted glass jar which is very chic. I could not recommend this enough. I think it's an amazing little product. It's such a steal. Highly recommend this. Next up are the Trader Joe's Spa Natural Facial Cleansing Pads with Tea Tree Oil. Formulated with soothing botanical ingredients like tea tree oil, calendula, and witch hazel, Trader Joe's Natural Facial Cleansing Pads are strong yet gentle and leave your skin feeling clean and refreshed. I had been using these for years. I have repurchased them several times. There are 50 of them in here. They're super thin and they have this raised threading on the pads which actually help to remove dirt and oil and leftover makeup on the face. I like to dig these into the sides of my nostrils because for some reason makeup just really likes to bury itself in there. It says that you should rinse your skin after Afterwards, I don't know if it means if it goes in your eyes. It says rinse with cool water. I've never rinsed this off. Some people are super sensitive to tea tree. I don't know what concentration of tea tree oil is in here. It doesn't say, but the first ingredient on here is witch hazel, which is really good for the skin. Then we've got water and then tea tree oil. There's also some chamomile in here, lavender, which helps to soothe the skin, lemongrass, ginger. It's just, it's a whole smorgasbord of good stuff. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I like to use this after I've cleansed my skin. Moving on to their rose water facial toner. It's fairly new to my collection. I do like it. It's a nice alternative to my Mario Badescu rose water. I don't think you can really mess up rose water. What impressed me about this one in particular is the fineness of the mister. It's really nice, especially for a product that's like $5.99 or something like that. I like to use it after I cleanse my face in the morning. It's a nice little pick-me-up. I also like to use it sometimes after I've applied my powders, after my foundation and everything. Because the mister is so fine, it doesn't leave like wet spots all over my face. It's super refreshing to have in my bag after the gym or something like that. What I like about this one in particular is that it has witch hazel in it, so I would recommend this. I think it's great. You get quite a bit in here. I can't say enough good things about the little spray top, and you can't go wrong with the price, you know? Moving on to a few of mine and Chris's favorite moisturizers. First, I've got the Enrich Moisturizing Face Lotion. This has an SPF of 15. It says it's fragrance-free for all skin types, light, non-greasy, enriched with vitamins A, C, and E. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is fragrance-free. It does have a little bit of a scent to it, which I don't mind. I'm not really sensitive to fragrances in my skincare. For some reason, when I put them in my eye, they kind of hurt. <laughs> but this doesn't bother me. It smells really nice, it's refreshing. It says it's light and non-greasy, which it is, but I have to use a really
really good mattifying primer before I apply my foundation when I'm using this moisturizer. I like to use it on the days that I am self tanned when I'm really, really dry because my skin just drinks it up. It's super hydrating for those days. In the summertime, it does make me feel a little bit more greasy than I'd like to feel. So if you have dry skin and you're looking for a good facial moisturizer with a little bit of SPF, this might be great for you. It also says that it's non-comedogenic, so it does not clog pores. I like it, but I can't use it every single day. Now a moisturizer that I can use every single day, this is actually Chris's, mine I'm all out of. This is the Nourish Enriched Intensive Antioxidant Facial Moisturizer, suitable for dry and normal skin. This is fragrance free, it's paraben free, it's dermatologist formulated, and it is a dream. Chris has a very dry skin like he's super flaky especially around his beard area and he's pretty sensitive to most skincare this also comes in an oil-free version which I use which I'm all out of but I'll put it up on the screen somewhere that one I've been using probably since the start of my YouTube channel I've mentioned it in a favorites video somewhere in like 2012 but I highly recommend both of these they're absolutely amazing and they wear really beautifully under makeup just 10 out of 10 would recommend. On to an item that I think everybody will love and enjoy. These are their Rich Hydrating Face Sheet Masks. I've got three of them here. They're fabulous. Soothes and revitalizes dull and tired skin with hyaluronic acid, honey, chamomile extract, turmeric extract, green tea extract, pomegranate extract, rosehip oil, blue algae extract, camellia oil, which I love, and propolis extract, which I actually don't know what that is. These smell like straight up cucumber juice. They're very wet and sticky. If you guys have tried sheet masks before, apply them to your cleansed, ready to go skin. You leave them on. I like to do 20 minutes and then you peel them off and then you take whatever wetness is left on your skin and you massage it into your skin, down your neck. I like to hit up my collarbone and you're just left with the most beautiful, supple, hydrated, soft skin. I can't say enough good things about these. They're amazing. I like to always keep backups of these in our household. I'm trying really hard to convince Chris to use one with me because he has really dry skin and I feel like he could definitely benefit from a sheet mask or two. These are so great for every day or before going to an event. I wish they would create more sheet masks like for different skin types this one's hydrating it'd be great to have one for anti-aging or one for oily skin or one for a glow i think they're onto something with their sheet masks i would highly highly recommend these they're inexpensive i love the color of these little wrappers too they look really nice next to my tatcha skincare in my bathroom so gotta get yourself some of those. Moving on to a body scrub that I actually like to use on my face sometimes. This is the Grapefruit Ginger Sugar Scrub. This is a rejuvenating body scrub made with fine sugar crystals infused with tart grapefruit and spicy ginger scent. For some reason, this is only seasonal, like I've only seen it at Trader Joe's in the fall and winter time, which is kind of a shame because I love to use scrubs in the summertime, especially to scrub off an old tan. Remember earlier I was saying that I've been destroying my face with abrasive uh, scrubs my whole life? That excludes sugar scrubs. I will forever use sugar scrubs on my face because the sugar dissolves. For some reason, sugar just leaves my skin feeling beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Freeman charcoal and sugar scrub mask. I'm onto something. I know that that exists because I have it downstairs in my bathroom. I'll pop a picture of it up on the screen. That's what this reminds me of, but with grapefruit and ginger instead of charcoal and whatever the hell else is in that one. So I don't feel too bad using this on my face. I also like to use it on my body, specifically my arms, the armpit area where the self tan likes to build up. This is just a great scrub all around. It smells really nice. It leaves you feeling really fresh. I like to use it when I shower in the morning time. It tastes really good. I use it to scrub my lips as well. It's packed with sugar, safflower seed oil, 
sweet almond oil, which is really nice on the skin, jojoba seed oil, grapefruit, ginger, sunflower seed oil, pomegranate, just all around a fabulous item, and I would highly recommend it while you can still get your paws on it. If your location doesn't have it anymore, I'm really sorry. Since I'm on the topic of body scrubs, I thought I'd mention the lavender salt scrub. This here is very different from the scrub that I just showed you. This, as it states, is salt. It's very richly lavender scented. I like to use this at nighttime before bed because lavender is very soothing and it puts me to bed. What I like about it is that the componentry has a little flip up lid like this. So you don't have to worry about like unscrewing the top every single time you use it. You just flip up the lid and when you're done with it, you close the lid. One thing that I actually don't really like about this, while it is very oily and hydrating on the skin, if you get enough of this on the floor of your shower or your bathtub, make sure you're holding on to something when you're rinsing it off because it causes me to slip and slide around the shower and I have to go in with detergent to clean it off of the bottom of my shower every single time I use it. Otherwise, I will fall and possibly crack my head and die. Not to be dramatic, but be very careful when you're using this in the shower. Major safety hazard. It says on the back that it has apricot kernel oil, which which is excellent for dry and mature skin, helps retain skin elasticity and suppleness without feeling greasy. Almond oil, a moisturizing antioxidant. Green tea leaf contains vitamin E, C, and B, an antibacterial and antioxidant. It has avocado oil, which is rich in vitamin A, C, and E, penetrates the skin deeply, no oily residue, promotes regeneration of scarred skin. Vitamin E helps to prevent premature aging of the skin caused by environmental stressors such as UV, radiation, and smog, soothes and softens the skin texture, highest grade of lavender oil. I like to follow this up on the nights when I can't sleep with what I'm about to talk about right now, which is the Trader Joe's Spa Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. I like that this has a pump. This is such a nice lotion. It feels so nice on the freaking skin. I, I'm, like It makes me angry. I like to use this before I self tan. I moisturize my knees and my elbows and my hands and my feet. It absorbs in the skin really fast and really beautifully and it leaves the skin nice and soft and supple. It's like baby soft skin. I love to use this all over the body but particularly on the areas that are super dry before I self tan. This states sunflower and lemon with lavender and oat derived beta glucan make this hand and body lotion a gentle powerful foe of dry skin. A few moments my freaking camera cut out, so I've been talking to myself for God knows how long. It will leave your skin feeling smooth and silky, refreshed and rejuvenated like a day at the spa. Ah. Uh, yes, it actually says ah uh, on the back. I didn't just make that up. I just realized that I bounced from that lavender scrub to the lotion, and I didn't even mention the soaps that I wanted to talk about. Two of them are not in front of me right now. They're in my shower, and they look really gross, and I don't want to show them to you, so I'm going to put images of them up on the screen. The first one that I'd like to recommend to you is the lavender triple milled soap. This is amazing. It doesn't smell like just straight up lavender. It has a very pretty lavender scent, so it leaves the skin smelling really nice. The bar of soap itself has chunks of lavender flowers throughout it. I think it's meant to gently exfoliate. Sometimes it looks a little weird when you're washing your body with it because chunks of lavender that have kind of turned brown start dropping off your body. Kind of looks a little suspect, but it feels really nice. And the gentle exfoliant is a nice little surprise. It's not abrasive at all. It's super gentle. You hardly feel it, but it is just a little bit better than regular soap. There's also a lemon scented soap that I don't have in front of me. I'll put an image of it up on the screen somewhere. It's really refreshing, especially in the morning. On their own or with a loofah, they're amazing and they leave your body feeling super, super clean. And the one that I do have in front of me is the one that Chris really likes. This is the oatmeal exfoliant with ginger almond. This is actually quite a hefty soap. Like I mentioned earlier, Chris has really sensitive skin all over his body, not just his face. His skin will literally puff up anywhere that it makes contact with anything abrasive. Even if I run my finger along his back, that line will get really puffy. I think there's a medical term for what he has. Anyway, this oatmeal exfoliating bar is gentle enough that he can rub it all over his body, but it still gets the job done. Tons of suds. It gets really nice and fluffy. You work it into a loofah. It smells really 
really nice and it's gentle. I think the triple milled ones are made in Europe. I wanna say that they're made in France. I'm sure I'll have it on the screen somewhere. If you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I absolutely love Lush Cosmetics. One of the items that I probably have repurchased the most from Lush is their De Fluff shaving cream. It's just a strawberry scented, pillowy soft dream. But it's also $20 per container and I go through that shit like crazy. I always tell Chris when I go in the shower to shave, I'm going in there to do business. I wanna come out feeling like a hairless cat. So, you know, maintaining that hairless cat life, it costs you and the cost catches up to you and it catches up to you quick. And luckily, I have found a solution. And that solution, my friend, is the moisturizing cream shave for men and women. This is a honey mango with aloe vera and vitamin E shaving cream. This right here is the best thing I have purchased. This has saved me so much money. It makes me feel like a little stick of butter every single time I'm done shaving my body. It says it's a unique blend of lubricating emollients that maximize absorption of water, lifting and softening unwanted hair for effortless razor glide and reducing the risk of nicks, cuts, and irritation. I gotta say, I have not cut myself once with this and I have not gotten any ingrown hairs with this either. I don't know if there's something in here that helps prevent that too, but it's enriched with pure aloe vera, nourishing vitamin E and botanical skin conditioners that help deliver a smooth and soothing shave with lasting comfort. Dude, I'm telling you, like my armpits have never felt smoother and I hate shaving my armpits. My armpits are probably the area that I'm gonna invest to get laser hair removal on. But with this shaving cream, it's like, it's like another dimension of smoothness for my whole body. If there's one thing that you should get when you're done watching this video, start with this bad boy, especially if you shave your body. We've all been in this situation. You know when you're in the shower and you run out of shaving cream, so you resort to using your hair conditioner to shave your legs or your armpits or whatever, and you're left with the most smooth legs and armpits that you've ever felt in your life? Like I used to use conditioner in the shower for fun sometimes when I'd run out of my to fluff. And I was always like, man, this feels really great. Why don't I just use conditioner all the time? I'm sure there's actual reasons why I shouldn't. This feels like conditioner. That is the texture of this stuff. It's like very smooth, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need very much at all. And it just leaves that same smooth, beautiful, moisturized finish. When I use this in the shower, I don't even need to moisturize my legs after the shower. I still do, but I don't need to. I have a couple items that I like to use on my legs and my arms specifically, starting with the lemongrass coconut body oil with almond and jojoba oils. Gentle, light, and aromatic. It moisturizes the skin without being greasy. This little bottle is amazing. I love using this on my arms and on my um, bikini area as well as my legs and my hands. Not so much after I shave, but after I self-tan. When I'm self-tanned, I tend to avoid oils because I feel like some oils will break down my tan. But this one has actually not broken down my tan and it absorbs into the skin really nice. It's filled with virgin coconut oil, olive fruit oil, sweet almond oil, jojoba seed oil, lemongrass oil. Yeah, it's just really great. So I would highly recommend this as well. Another item that I like to use specifically on my legs not so much on my arms or my stomach because it's a little bit too thick and it doesn't spread as smoothly as the other stuff that I mentioned is the Trader Joe's Body Butter. This one here is pumpkin and it is a uh, seasonal item. It normally comes in like a cocoa butter scent. I've said this before, but I'm not like a major pumpkin spice gal. I think this year was the first time I ever bought pumpkin spice anything to scent my home. However, this pumpkin whatever is in here smells real good. I think it's because it's not pumpkin spice, it's just pumpkin. This is a luxurious body butter made with coconut oil, shea butter, and pumpkin seed oil. If you're familiar with the Body Shop body butters, that thickness, this is like double that. This is real, real thick. It's almost kind of annoyingly thick sometimes. I gotta really warm it up in my hands before I apply it to my legs. Otherwise I'm there for like 10 minutes trying to rub the shit in. I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite item, but I feel like a lot of people like body butters and they like pumpkin shit. And I think this is a seasonal item. It's probably gonna be gone after well, end of October or maybe mid-November. So if you're interested in this, I'd run to the store sooner rather than later to get your paws on it. But they have the cocoa butter scent year-round, so. 
I got some sunscreen here. This is their Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's water resistant. It contains aloe and vitamin E, non-comedogenic. It has a continuous spray for quick and easy coverage. I bought a backup of this because Chris and I are gonna go to Vegas in a few weeks. We're gonna go see the Backstreet Boys. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We've been planning to do this for years and we're finally going back to Vegas and we're gonna see BSB and I'm gonna cry my eyes out. But we needed sunscreen and this is one that we have purchased in the past. It's really nice. It's not greasy. The spray top on it is great. It evenly distributes sunscreen. It rubs into the skin nice and easy and it doesn't have a cap. It has a twist lock. Just thought I'd throw that in there. They have great sunscreen options. They also have one that's an actual cream, which I've actually never tried. I've only tried this one and last but certainly not least is the ultra moisturizing hand cream with coconut oil hemp oil and 20% shea butter paraben free perfect precursor to your next meeting it has two little hands shaking on the front I always like to keep a hand cream in my purse especially for these little manicured phalanges that I've got my cuticles get so dry every time I wash my hands I didn't realize for the longest time that it does say on the front contains hemp oil so it does have cannabis sativa organic hemp seed oil in this hand cream get a little hand high with your dose of moisture the mistake that I made when I first got this was I was completely saturating my hands with it and it wouldn't fully absorb into my skin and then when I'd wash my hands I'd have that like slimy feeling all over a little bit goes a long way you only need a very small amount just enough to immediately absorb into the skin and I absolutely adore the scent of this it's very lightly scented it's not over the top it won't give you a headache it's just like a clean smell you you know so highly recommend all right that completes this video you guys made it through watching it I made it through filming it in the middle of the storm without the power going out I'd say it's been a successful night I hope you guys enjoyed this video I actually really had a good time I've been meaning to do this for a while now if you tried any of the products that I mentioned please let me know in the comments below also let me know if you've tried stuff that I haven't tried that you think I should try I'd greatly appreciate it Everything that I talked about will be linked in the description box below. I'm gonna go finish watching my spooky show now. I hope you guys have a great evening wherever you are. As always, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.